Thank you very much for giving me a good chance to read the paper here, and thanks again for coming here. Uh, as my uh, slides are not enough, so I prepare a paper handout. So uh, please take them if uh, you want. So let's start. Introduction. <clears throat> A, the present study explores the semantic and structural aspects of the word formation processes in English, focusing on how verbs are derived by the suffixes I, C, I, E, and H. Organization, based on the relevant derivatives extracted from British national corpus, where detailed observations made from semantic and formal viewpoints. After outlining the method of research, we closely examine the derivation of verbs in English and illuminate its semantic features. Then we elucidate its morphological properties, the formal restrictions of the basis and productivity. Section 3 presents theoretical implications for the results of our research. Uh, section 2. Observation and generalizations. 2.1, target and methodology. By repeatedly using wildcard function of a research engine, words ending in I, C, F, I, N, and H are extracted from British National Corpus, 100 million word corpus. In particular, their frequency is checked to identify the Hapax Regomena token frequency one. As a result of research, we have obtained 381 world types in eyes, 68 world types in EFI, 558 world types in N, and 447 world types in A, including 123, 5, 2, and 26 half axes, respectively. 2.2 The meaning of derived verbs. Uh, the semantic aspects of derived verbs have been well observed in the literature from the descriptive perspective and from a generative perspective. According to Prague 1999, the meanings of the derived verbs can be divided into seven classes. One, resultative, make into X, for example, atomize, uh, meaning, uh, meaning uh, Make into atom. Yes. Two, locative, put into X, uh, for example, hospitalize, uh, put into hospital. Uh, three, onative, provide with X, chemicalize, so provide something with chemical. Four, performative, perform X, uh, for example, dichotomize, uh, meaning uh, perform. Dichotomy. Five, signative, act right X, uh, for example, Bethlehemize, uh, act like Bethlehem. Six, causative, make X, uh, uh, for example, circularize, uh, make circular. Seven, inquative, uh, become X, uh, for example, circularize, uh, in this case, uh, become circular. Uh, we will revise this classification in the following way. Uh, recursive and locative are uh, unified into a result. Uh, put something, uh, some of the something into X, the change of state of place. I add a new uh, sub meaning. Uh, first one is adjective, act as X. For example, patronize, act as a patron. And a second, uh, instrumental, uh, instrumental uh, meaning the do something with X. For example, cauterize, do something with quarter. Uh, these, new, uh, these two new uh, sub meanings, a uh, plus, onati, and performati. Are united into the sub meaning providing, giving, make somebody something provided with X. Uh, thirdly, uh, I add a new 
uh, some meaning function, uh, meaning uh, make something be as x. Uh, for example, canonize a text, uh, meaning uh, make uh, the text be as canonized, a canon. So, the uh, result of a ENC research is uh, given in table one. Uh, for example, uh, a base is uh, adjective. When a base is adjective, the meaning of the derivative is positive. So, I find I, I found uh, 215 uh, I. Uh, Derivative uh, types, one types in eyes, and uh, 60, 67 of them are characters. And so, uh, when the base is noun, uh, the meaning of derivatives are uh, divided into uh, mainly four uh, types. Uh, for example, resultative, I uh, find uh, 51 eyes, one types. Of this meaning and certain uh, then analysis. So, uh, the adjectival device, uh, divided verbs, the adjectival derived verbs essentially have the meaning of make something x positive, as in circularized, circularized make something circular. The so meaning causative is the highest in number of word types and hypotheses, showing that this is a central meaning of divide and derived verbs. A part of these derivatives can be used as intransitive verbs, and they mean become X in OMG. Uh, this shift has been well studied from a general perspective. It is frequently treated as an alternation between transitives and equatives. I uh, will not, though, uh, deal with the issue of how they are related to each other. As for the nominal derived verbs, the sub meanings of resultative, orative, and performative form a majority in number of word types and hypotheses, and so they are the central meanings of the nominal derived verbs. 2.3 Correlation between derived verbs and their basis. Uh, this section shows how and to what extent derived verbs means uh, predicted from their basis. Uh, this issue has received relatively little attention in previous morphological analysis. The meanings of the nominal verbs are largely divided into four classes, and each class is closely related to the meanings of the base. Importantly, the three main subclasses of meanings, resultative, formative, and performative, are generally predictable from the basis meanings. Here we focus on the resultative class. Uh, the meaning correspondence is offered in table two. So, a uh, derived verb denotes resultative when the base noun has one of the, one of the five meanings. Uh, A. So, group A, in group A, if an underlying noun, daima, for example, daima, expresses a state of quality, the derivative, uh, daimalized, can naturally be taken as meaning put something in a state quality. In group B, grammar nouns related to language are derived verbs that note put something into a verbal form, as in dialects. C and D are in groups C, groups C and D, nouns indicating basic elements and those conveying system classification uh, verbalized to mean put something into a basic element, uh, for example, atomize, and put something into a system classification, for example, categorize, respectively. In uh, group E, from names of one's st status are derived verbs that signify put somebody into a status, as in duty dies. 
uh, two, uh, section 2.4, formal restrictions on the basis. We will demonstrate the morphological facts on derived verbs. We con concentrate here on the internal step stru uh, structure basis and their vocabulary uh, strata, the size and composition of the basis. First, Marshall 1969 points out that verbal suffixes do not combine with compounds. Our research supports this view. There are no such verbs in BNC. For example, we, we can say rock crystal, but we can't say rock crystallize, and so on. Uh, second, as a result of the same research, we find that the verb forming suffix generally does not attach to prefix basis. Thus, I, if I, N, and A do not combine with words, including prefixes such as a, trans, and ultra. So we can say uh, atypical, uh, atypical, but we cannot say uh, typicalize, and so on. So Lieber 2005 states that the verbalizers, I, and if I, normally do not attach to suffix words, excepting uh, those ending in R, Ian, and Ik, however. Uh, ik. However, our research demonstrates that there is considerable variation in the combination of suffix words between verbal suffixes. I is attached to uh, words ending in abo, permeabilize, e, passivize, ear, computerize, asian, revolutionize, in addition to R, ian, and e basics, commercialize. Christianize, classicize. Contrastively, other verbal suffix can attach uh, to suffix basis in a very limited way. Uh, vocabulary strata. It has been well observed that the affix chooses an item of specific vocabulary strata. I, if I, R, and A. Uh, typically combine with words of Latin origin, while N normally combines with words of native origin. Our BLC research has identified the vocabulary strata of words with which each suffix combines. So, for example, or uh, For example, uh, eyes, uh, so eyes combines with uh, 305, uh, 354 Latinate types of adjectives and nouns. And so on. So uh, the result leads us to conclude that eyes mostly takes Latinate or Greek basis. If I and A predominantly uh, or ex excessively take Latinate basis, while mainly takes native basis, thus the uh, previous observations have been confirmed by our BNC research. 2.5 Truncation of a word internal suffix. There are two so reasons for the truncation of internal intra word suffixes. Uh, first, the underlying form of X suffix I is well uh, suited to the meaning of the whole word. For example, systematize means make something systematic, and so the meaning is assigned easily and naturally to the word if it is underlyingly involved in the word. Uh, second, uh, there is a direct of a truncated form and untruncated form as exemplified in. Uh, digitize and digitalize and monetize and monetize. Uh, there seems to be no significant meaning difference between both forms, and hence their relationship can be described clearly by the relevant truncation. And with respect to the suffix containing eyes, verbs, some um, internal suffix, one internal, internal ik, uh, may be uh, truncated. And uh, maybe not so untruncated. So this is a point. 
So, uh, so it is essentially deletable in a position at issue, uh, 21 types of such database uh, uh, seen in DLC. However, we detect 31 types of derivatives whose internal is not deleted. So group one and two and three. Uh, so in group one, the base of the internal suffix it is monosyllabic, monosyllabic. So uh, for example, class size, uh, uh, the base of it is class. So uh, monosyllabic. In the second verse, uh, it ends in two consonants. So uh, romanticize uh, the base of romantic is Roma and two. Uh, so uh, it, it ends in two consonants. So uh, generation or images when the base of the internal suffix is polysyllabic or ends in a single uh, consonant, ik truncation uh, applies. Examples in three are uh, exceptions. So uh, to this point six productivity, uh, as a last morphological facet, we will discuss the productivity of bar forming suffixes. Uh, we accept uh, hapax space productivity measure, which gives the uh, uh, key in the road to the hapax recommend uh, of our large scale corpus. Uh, this result on the view that the capacity to uh, new uh, forms crucially involves the uh, degree to which the affix means work of ultra frequency, ultra low frequency. So productivity uh, equal N1 divided by V, uh, where N1 is a net number, number of hypoxies and V is a total number of words. So uh, conclusion is in the measure the productivity uh, of eyes of fixation uh, defined as uh, the potentiality of creating 123 kinds new words when 381 kinds of eyes derivatives are used. Nearly one third of the attested eyes types are innovative words. The result of the research demonstrate that five E5, E, and H are not productive as of affixes. Eyes of fixation is fairly productive to promote the creation of new So uh, our next task is to formalize eyes of fixation, a major bird forming process. Uh, specifically, we present pertinent syntactic structures, lexical trees, and subsidiary rules. But I have to uh, skip these two uh, conclusions. One, uh, based on detailed observation of the derived verb system served in large scale corpus, we have revealed the essential properties of verb derivation. Two, semantically derived verbs are divided into five main groups, and each of meaning is uh, correlated with a base basis meaning. Three, formal restrictions are placed on the internal structures and vocabulary strata of the basis. Four, as regards productivity, eyes of fixation is creative in its construction of universe innovative world. Um, here's the uh, reference. Thank you.